Well, she managed T Grizzly, one of Detroit's most popular rappers. But earlier this week, Jobina Brown was shot and killed on the city's east side. Tonight, we're hearing from a local radio show host who worked with Brown. Seven Action News reporter Anu Prakash joins us live from the scene to tell us how Brown is being remembered and what police are saying. Anu. Well, Glenda, Detroit police tell me that homicide investigators are still working on this case, still trying to figure out what led up to the shooting here on Three Mile Road just off of Mac. Meanwhile, those who knew Brown say she was kind hearted and a hard worker. She was a sweetheart. She was a good person. She was the type of person that would look out for you, do whatever you know she could to help you. Bushman, host of the Bushman Show on 97.9 WJLB, first got to know Jabina Brown three yeah. years ago. He called her JB. She was the manager and aunt of Detroit rapper T Grizzly. She also managed Detroit rapper Sada Baby. Sources say on Tuesday night around 9:30, the 41-year-old was sitting in a Chrysler 300 with two other men here on Three Mile, just off of Mac. Police say as one of the men got out of the car, she was shot and killed. JB, I love you. I miss you, but I will never forget about you. You were a queen and you were awesome. Bushman says he's been getting calls and comments on social media from people across the country, those who've gotten to know Brown and some who are fans of T Grizzly. Bushman says Brown was a young woman who was committed and kind. It was like her first time managing, but she grasped the knowledge of how to manage an artist and and was running with it, and, and uh, he's been very successful. After hearing about her death, he shared this video of Brown in the studio with T Grizzly in May of 2018. She was fixing his hair, taking care of him like Bushman says she always would. I wanted to share something for people to remember her by. When you're in behind the scenes, you, you don't always get the credit for the things that you do, and I want people to understand who she was and what she meant to T. Grizzly, Sada. And as he continues to pay tribute to her, he just hopes the question surrounding who took her life won't remain unanswered much longer. Just want to know why. What made you do that? You know, what caused you? What was going on your in your mind and in your life that you felt like you had to pull a gun out and pop? Now, I did reach out to T. Grizzly's management company, but haven't heard back yet. Meanwhile, if you have any information that can help police solve this case, please call Detroit Police Homicide. Live on the city's east side, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. And let's hope police and the family get some answers soon. Anu, thank you.